Hey everybody and welcome back to another one of Mudflap's Movie Reviews. My name is Mudflap and today I will be reviewing Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Let's get started. Fantastic Beasts is directed by David Yates and it stars Eddie Redmayne, Don Fogler, Catherine Waterstone, Johnny Depp, and Ezra Miller. So we start this movie off where we're introduced to Gullert Grindelwald, who is an up-and-coming dark wizard who is just wreaking havoc on the wizarding community and drawing unnecessary attention from the non-magical people. They're called nomages or muggles, depending on where you're from. Once wizards to be all-powerful and control everything, and because of that, he's drawing unnecessary attention and he's caught the eye of the wizarding governmental institution, Makuza. Um, things are very tense. This takes place in 1926, New York City. Uh, that's when we were introduced to Newt's commander, who just got off the boat to New York City, and he's there to find a breeder for one of his creatures. Studies and collects magical creatures. He's gonna write a book on it, but he also wants to teach his fellow witches and wizards about him so they don't kill him and put him on the extinction list. Gives them some knowledge and wisdom, and then he runs into Jacob, who is a nomad. Jacob's just trying to get a bakery because he's got a passion for baking and his paths cross with Newt and Newt decides to take him on an adventure of a lifetime where he's fun more and more about the wizarding community. And then the next character we get introduced to is Tina. She's an ex orer who's trying to buy her good graces back with Makuza because they kicked her out for tampering in something that she shouldn't have been. And Tina's sister Queenie is a legitimate which means she can read minds, so she is a great character to add as well. These four start an adventure, and we get introduced to another key character. His name is Credence. He's part of a anti-wizard movement called the Second Salemers. His mom is pretty abusive towards him, and he's got a lot of issues going on. He's also being kind of hired by one of the Makuza head guys, Mr. Graves, to find out what's going on in the wizarding community. There's the unknown being that's going around wreaking havoc, killing a few people, and he wants to know what it is, and later on we find out that it's an obscure, it's basically pented up dark energy and hatred and rage and all that. It's a parasitical form uh, they, they find out later on what it is. It just keeps building and building with more and more problems the magical wizarding community has to deal with and how Newt is in that role and how he plays a big role in not only finding out more about that and helping educate people about his creatures but educating people about the dangers of the wizarding community at times but also helping his fellow witches and wizards balance the situation so not everything explodes. Most of the movie is following Newt Scamander's adventures with his newfound friends. Uh, they're all just trying to band together and trying to calm down the tension that's building. So Newt is a really fun character. Kind of awkward. Newt's a fun character. He's kind of an awkward guy, but I really like that about him. He brings a whole new presence. It's just great getting back into the wizarding world. A uh, very prequel Harry Potter, like I said, 1920s. So we get to see a lot of backstory of all the stuff that happened before Harry Potter came along. Of course, Dumbledore is still around. You know, this is pre-Voldemort, but there's still dark wizards around. This stuff that kind of fills in the gaps, and it's, it's a really great prequel series. I'm just really excited for Fantastic Beasts 3, so I'm doing a review on the two Fantastic Beast movies because you know just building up the hype I just want people to really get into this movie. I really love it. <laughs> One of my favorite characters in Fantastic Beasts is Jacob. Dan Fogler is a great actor. Really funny guy. A lot of people have said Jacob's like the ultimate wizard fan. Like he's the ultimate Harry Potter fan because he wants to be a wizard so bad but he can't because he's a non-magical person. There's a break between the last Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts when I saw it in theaters. It just really brought me back into the atmosphere. I grew up with Harry Potter movies, a lot of my generation did. So to see, you know, familiar names being thrown out there, new characters and stuff being filled in, I just absolutely loved it. I'm going to rank Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 mud flaps. Like I said, just a great magical new adventure. And before you go, drop in the comments below who's your favorite character from the Fantastic Beasts franchise. And as always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. And I'll see you next time.